We have an intense uh, submarine earthquake swarm off the coast of the Iceland, uh, near the Reykjanes Peninsula, where we have the volcanic systems active at the moment. This is just uh, southwest of the Reykjanes Peninsula. You can see that it is an intense uh, swarm of the earthquakes. The magnitude of them, some of them is up to four uh, in the Richter scale. You can see it here, I'll mark it for you. And it is continuing, it has not stopped, it has extended actually, as you can see here earlier. It is now going to become bigger. And uh, I'll mark it here also on this uh, chart for you, so you can uh, figure out the movement and magnitude and the timing. This is just recent, just after the midday. The depth of them is quite deep, some of them, uh, up to 10 uh, kilometers. Some of them are uh, less than that. The magnitude is small, most of them. And these are related to the opening up of the uh, oceanic uh, floor, mid-Atlantic ridge or mid-oceanic ridge. Eventually, it may lead to some eruption. At the moment, probably it is just tectonic, meaning that the fault lines are moving and creating a space. And if the magma moves upward, magma forms and moves upward, we may have an eruption at the surface, of course, this is unlikely in this case because it's very deep, five kilometers down. It will probably be limited to where it is. If it was closer to the Reykjanes Peninsula, we would see something like this. And a uh, uh, raft of the pumice probably on the uh, waves, over the waves near the coast also, we would have an eruption if it happens like that. That's the way the Reckonish Peninsula is created, actually. And this is a continuation of the volcanic systems that we have on land. They are starting, actually, in the Atlantic Ocean, and they come. These are related to the movements within the Earth from the core to mantle and near the crust of the Earth, creating these convection cells that split the, and crack and move the hardened surface of the Earth which we call it as a crust or the thirstsphere, creating earthquakes. This is the continuation of the process of the breakdown of the Gondwana and the Pangaea, and the ocean is created like that, and then continents may join later together again.